Hi, it's Steve from Power Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the Ice Maker Helix end cap on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a putty knife, and a flat blade screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we're going to start by opening the freezer door. And we'll lift the bin out of the way here and reach in and turn the Ice Maker off. And then we're going to lift up on the ice bin itself, slide it forward, pull it right out of the track, and then we'll put this on a suitable work surface to do the repair. Now once we have the bin on a suitable work surface, we'll first of all empty any of the remaining ice out of it, then we're going to turn it upside down, and we're going to start by removing the two quarter inch hex head screws from the bottom side. We need to disengage this lip. We'll use our putty knife there to pry it up far enough, to disengage it from the bin itself. Now we can turn it over. Lift the top side off as a lip across the front of it. And then we can remove the cover. Now along the bottom we had those two screws that hold the angle brackets in place. We need to remove both of those. That will allow us to remove the auger assembly from the bin. Simply lift up on it to disengage the tabs at the top and pull it forward. And now we have access to the rear cap. And once we have that auger assembly pulled out of the bin, the easiest method we found to remove the end cap is to insert a flat blade screwdriver into the open opposite the end of the auger hook. And we're just going to pry outward and twist at the same time. And that should pop out. To install our new one, we'll line up that square opening with the end of the auger. Insert it on an angle like this. And we're just going to rotate it into place. And now we're ready to reinstall the auger assembly into the bin. Now we'll take the auger assembly, we'll slide that into the opening, and we'll lift the front up enough that we can hook the tabs into some cutouts on the front of the bin. That helps us align it. Now holding that in place, we'll stand it on end, and we're ready to reinstall the little angle brackets. And we'll insert the screw in the pre-drilled hole in the bin. We won't tighten that screw completely yet until we line up the L bracket. We'll do the same thing with the opposite side. Before we tighten these up, we'll need to make sure the adjustment of those L brackets lines up with the two holes in the bottom of the face cover. And make sure that the tabs are still lined up across the top and tighten the screws. Next, we'll turn it upright. We'll take the face cover. Make sure that hook across the top edge is fully engaged across the front. And we'll flip it upside down. And we'll make sure that 
goes out over the top of those angle brackets. And with our putty knife, we'll just work that left side into place. We're ready to reinstall the two screws that secure it. Check the operation of the auger to make sure it still turns freely. And now we're ready to reinstall it in the refrigerator. Now to reinstall the ice bin, we'll open the freezer door, align it in the track, slide it all the way back until it locks in place. We'll reach in and turn the ice maker back on. Slide the front tray in, and our repair is complete. Told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.